My name is Brett Mansfield. I'm an endocrinologist at the University of the Bitwatersrand in Johannesburg, South Africa. A 24-year-old woman attended our follow-up lipid clinic, reporting that the multiple tenderness and cutaneous xanthomas on her hands, elbows, and feet had markedly improved. She had developed the lesions aged two years. Laboratory investigations at the time had revealed marked hyperlipidemia, with a total cholesterol concentration of 21.3 millimoles per litre and a low-density lipoprotein cholesterol concentration of 18.5 millimoles per litre. She had been diagnosed with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. The presence of interdigital cutaneous xanthomata are regarded as pathognomonic for the disease. Genetic testing identified biallelic mutations of the LDL receptor gene. The patient's mother was heterozygous for the FH Africana 2 mutation, but had no history of cardiovascular disease. Her father was heterozygous for the FH Africana 1 mutation. He had a coronary stent inserted at the age of 46. Her brother was diagnosed with homozygous FH, but died from atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease at age 6. From the time of diagnosis, different lipid-lowering therapies were added to the patient's treatment regimen as and when newer agents became available. She started at torvastatin when she was 2 years old, ezetimibe was added when she was 8 years, and the PCSK9 inhibitor, Evolocumand, was given from age 15. However, Despite triple therapy, her LDL cholesterol remained elevated at 16.3 millimoles per litre. Lipoprotein apheresis was not available at our centre. At 22 years of age, she, she was commenced on the intravenous angiopoietin-like protein-3 or ANGPTL3 monoclonal antibody evanacumab at a dose of 15 milligrams per kilogram each month. Within two months, her LDL cholesterol was reduced by 77% to 3.73 millimoles per litre. Ongoing treatment over the next two years led to a gradual regression of her cutaneous xanthomata. Homozygous FH results in very high levels of LDL cholesterol from birth and carries with it an extremely high risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. LDL receptor independent therapies such as ANGPTL3 inhibitors and lipoprotein apheresis are crucial means of lowering LDL cholesterol in individuals with homozygous FH. Significant lowering of LDL cholesterol can lead to regression of xanthomata, but more importantly, reduce the risk of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Thank you for your attention.